Hi, we're going to continue our conversation on equipping disciples and family. You know, the best motherly advice my mother gave me was when I was a teenager, and that advice has stuck with me today. It is actually a popular quote, and let me read it for you. It is, your attitude determines your altitude. You know, as a child growing up, I was very compliant. When my parents asked me to do a task or a chore, it was done and done. However, while doing that task, what often became undone was my attitude. You see, for me, the what became more important than the how. That's where I want to land, and that's where I want to park today. I want to talk to you about your attitude. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 23, the Apostle Paul gives some keen instructions to the church at Ephesus on their attitude in Christian living. Let me read it for you. Ephesians 4, verse 23. Be made new in the attitude of your minds. You see, an attitude is a settled way of thinking. It's not only a settled way of thinking, but it is learned and it is acquired. The Apostle Paul gave the church some key instructions on how to do that. Number one, he said to put off the old man and then put on the new man. Those were practical illustrations, but that practical illustration is actually linked to a very important core that initiates the whole process. And it's found in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 20. And Apostle Paul tells us the first initiation to having a renewed mind is to learn Christ. You say, that's it? Learn Christ? Yes, learn Christ. You see, before you begin to take off and put on, the first instruction is to learn Christ. Because as you learn Christ, you will begin to understand and to know what to take off and what to put on. So today I wanna to encourage you that you know what? You may be struggling with your attitude, but the first piece of advice I'm going to share with you is to learn Christ. Let me pray with you. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for my friends. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that they may be struggling with their attitude at this very moment. But Father, I thank you that they would be encouraged to know that they can learn Christ and that attitude can change. I, I feel like someone needs a shift in their attitude. So Father, we thank you, Lord God, that as they are intentional to learn Christ, as they're intentional and purposeful to know him, to read their, the word of God, um, to, to study his word, to, to, to obey his word, then they will become like Christ. Father, I pray that you would help each and every one of us that we may represent Christ wherever we go and whatever we do, not only in what we do, but how we do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good day.